All right, now, man, I, I appreciate you. Um, this is dope. Like, it's, it's, yeah. it's really dope to connect with you. I'm gonna keep it all the way funky. Like, okay. I, didn't really, I didn't really know much about Mayor of Kingstown. <laughs> <laughs> I knew, and that's that's partially because I work a lot. Um, yeah, yeah. Between doing all the media stuff, I uh, I, I work at Amazon too. Uh, I do some Ubering and all that stuff. So usually, okay. I don't really have. A whole lot of time to sit down and like yeah. really watch TV and dig into stuff. And this is one of them shows where you got to pay attention because oh, I'm yeah. like, when I tell you that the first episode of season two, I've watched it twice already, and I feel like mm -hmm. I keep missing shit. Like I'm, I'm, like, <laughs> I'm like, what the fuck is going on? And I'm like, why did yeah. why did they why did they shoot the car up? With the <laughs> I'm like, it's right. it's a, it's a good show though, man. And then. I like Diane Weist a lot. Oh, legend. legend. Yeah. Like I I re, I think the first thing that I saw her in was uh the associate with Whoopi Goldberg. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Which um ended up being like one of my favorite movies. Um and I may have seen because I I'm sure she was in some stuff before that. Uh I'm sure she was probably in stuff before that or whatever, but yeah, yeah. That I probably saw, but I think that was probably one of the biggest things that stuck out. But when I saw she was part of this, and then you know, obviously knowing that you were part of it, I was like, okay, it's got to be good. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> well, I finally sat down and started watching. Then I ain't even gonna front; I'm still lost. I'm still a little lost. But <laughs> I don't watch season one either, though. So I, I think okay. I'm gonna go back and actually watch season one. But talk a little bit about like why this show was good for you. Like how like how did you even get involved with it? First of all. Oh, um, my, my, my rep, my manager, Melissa Young Management, uh, her and the team, they're all amazing. You know, they shoot, shoot me, they submit me, and they get the request for me to audition. They send it over. I actually auditioned for a role in the first season, and okay. I forgot about it. Uh, I didn't get that one. Usually when I'm done for auditions, like, you know, I was away. Right, right. Going to the next. Right. Then second season came around. They sent the audition over. I just looked at my history, saw I auditioned last year. It was like a co-star role at first. and. Okay. I was like, cool, let's do it. A couple weeks went by, heard nothing. And then it was like, okay, we have this other co star role you should submit for. I submitted it. Cool, nothing went by. It was like another month. I was like, ah, oh. I thought they liked me, but maybe they don't. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> and then it was like, here's a callback, but we want you to actually submit for three other roles. So Damn. I submit for these other three roles. There's like five auditions in. Okay. Crickets for like another few weeks. I'm like, dang, what is it? And, yeah. uh, then they hit me again with another uh, role with fewer lines and uh, submit for that one. And then they hit me with Diedrich. And with Diedrich, they was like, here's the audition piece, but we want you also to read this more substantial part uh, that was in a scene with me and uh, Jeremy's character, Mike Husky. Yeah. A few pages long. And I was like, cool. I love this role. I hope I can get it. They hit me up like two weeks later. We're gonna give you the role like the correction officer or something. I was like, oh man. Right. But I was like, cool though. I'm I'm working. So I was great. Yeah, but I was like, but to on. me, that's like to me, those are the best parts of the show is like in the prison and like the stuff. Yeah. Like, you know, like yeah, yeah. I I guess I'm like I said, I'm still a little bit lost. Like, why are they like why are they beating the shit out of like the prisoners and all of that? Like, what's going <laughs> like what's going on? Like, yeah, they um well the, the show is reflecting on not it's not just like an ordinary prison show people in there they're reflecting on the mistreatment of well a lot of prisons how they treat uh how racism is involved how they treat the different prisoners of the different right. races and the, the um, and how unfair it is and they want to highlight that in, okay. in this show and okay. add some more complexity and levels to it so even though you see people uh, the violence is there there's also uh complex stories behind all these characters of Right. Why? Why they are there? Why they are reacting the way they are? Right. If you, I don't want to give you spoiler alerts for season one. No, that's, that's cool. I mean, that actually that breaks it down for me a little bit better. And I mean, obviously, even though like I even look back at like as far as prison shows, like I, yeah. I even look back at like Orange Is the New Black, and I know these are totally different ends of the spectrum. <laughs> well, I'm with you, though. I'm listening. When you looked at that series. Yeah, like one of the biggest things about it was it looked back into like their actual story and why they yeah. and what went on and that sort of. So I get it. So that yeah. actually makes it, it makes sense and it gives me, I guess, a better perspective 
of what I'm looking at. So I may look back at it for a third time now. <laughs> I get that shit. You should. But, you see why why certain prisoners react, why things have happened, because at the end of the day, you know, these prisoners are fed up right. with the mistreatment. They're fed up with the, the false promises and the lies that's fed to them. Crazy, crazy man! Like when when they when they shot into the car and the dog was on to, on top of oh. left in the car. Like yeah. I kept looking at it and I'm like, yeah. I think the stupid part of me, I'm like, is he dead or is he moving? Because yeah. because I think the first time I watched, I didn't realize the dog jumped in the car. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh and yeah. I'm like shit, like the dog is eating them. And then yeah. when they shot the dog, I'm like, I wasn't even know. taking a chance but, with that dog. Right. It's it's really good though. Like I, um, it, is, it is good, man. I got I actually watched like one episode before my first audition just to get the tone of the show, and I ended up getting hooked. And I binged like the first season, yeah, before I audition because it was that good. I mean, the first episode of the first season is going to grab you. It's okay. it's just the things come out as the big surprises come. <laughs> I'm a, right I, I, yeah. I actually I'm gonna go back and watch uh, season one just so that I can really catch up on it, and then yeah. that. Well, that probably will help too with me watching it. Yeah, yeah, you you understand why my character, why my character is there, and why the other uh, gang leaders are there. It'll be. Right. So, like, how do you like? How do you actually like being a part of the show? You know, considering that you've auditioned for several characters now, like five, yeah. six different roles. Oh, it's a blessing, man. I can. I would have been grateful with those roles as well, like I said earlier. But I just wanted to play DJ just because of the material they had me audition with. And and the role he had in the show, and it's just a a blessing to be around so many stars. You know, you have Jeremy Renner, the, you have Michael Beach, you have Hamish and Hugh Dillon and Toby, all those leads in the show, yeah. and they and like you said, Diane, and they just uh, I just soak it up. You know, I learn from them, watching them uh, act and watching them on set and interacting with them. And if you see episode two of this season where my character comes in, that scene was so intense. And see, that was gonna be my next question because, like, I, I think I was looking at certain parts so much that I'm like, I can't tell if he came in or not. Or I'm like, Where did he come in? <laughs> but um, it's cool also to know that Michael Beach is part of it because I didn't realize that he was part of it also. Yeah, it's, yeah. It's a, pretty, it's a really, really strong cast when you mention when you definitely when you mention him, but also yeah. with you know Renner and like all of the yeah. other people that are part yeah. of this. Like, it's really good. I can see yeah. this like really lasting. Yeah, man. I hope so. I hope to be in there. I hope I continue. Uh, we'll see how Deidre fares out this season. Yeah. As you see, there's a lot going on. But I grew up watching Michael Beach. So I was, I, you know, I'm a fan of Jeremy, but I was excited to meet Michael. I was like, yo, dude, you was yeah. on my television. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, like, this is surreal. Yeah. Uh, amazing dude. Gave me a lot of great advice on set. Um, and, and I really got to learn more about his journey through Hollywood and um, he's just all around amazing actor and amazing human being. Yeah. You, you've actually, I mean, there's so many projects that you have been a part of, like, would you say this is probably like your biggest role right now or? Uh, Yeah, right now for sure. Okay. Sure. There's, there's uh, it's just a hit show, you know, and a lot of people are starting to catch on to it. And every time I talk to friends, family, or or even strangers, they watch and they're like, dude, I have no idea. I'm hooked now. I'm in there. Yeah. And I hope more and more viewers come because the show is, it's amazing. It's there. We you know we haven't had anything like The Wire and, and other shows similar to that to that kind of following in a, in a while. And I think this potentially falls into that same lane. Okay, so I, I I'm almost to episode two now. So okay. I'm gonna go ahead and jump in. What 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 would you tell me to look out for in this next episode where you come in at? Oh, you'll see. It's, it's, I come in where it's um, they have a meeting with all the gang leaders. You know, the Bloods, the Aryans, the Crips, and the, uh, the Latin gangs, and the uh, and uh, we all come together for them to meet with us. And that's when when you see that meeting happen in like a remote place. Yeah. I'm coming in. You're gonna see a, a Mercedes G wagon pull up. Oh, so you driving the, <laughs> the G wagon, baby? They, they hooked me up. <laughs> You gotta you you gotta come in right, man. That's yeah, no. I'm, I'm, I'm flexing out there, and it was it was I couldn't ask for a better intro. They made me really look like a badass, and uh, uh, definitely uh, made Diedrich look super cool, man. Yeah. Now I think this is really really dope, man. Um, it's exciting, you know. Obviously, you know when I watch stuff like this, it's exciting yeah. to be able to to connect with the people from the shows and whatnot, mm-hmm. and really 
you know, get into their mind about what they think about the show. Like, right. what what was your thought coming in? You know, again, considering that you you had auditioned for several roles and then you came in and you got this role. Like, what was your thought coming on to set? And yeah. is it kind of what you imagined or what you expected? Um, yeah, I, coming in, I knew I knew how intense the show was. And I knew that anybody can die at any second. And that's such an <laughs> understatement when you say intense. Yeah, that's an like, understatement. Like, I, I swear to God, first episode, when they came in and the lady was blindfolded and, and he was walking her to the boat, I'm like, yeah. oh, shit. Like, why they <laughs> I'm like, why they going to kill somebody, like, right in the beginning? Like, what's going on? Right she's like, can I take it off? And he's like, no. I'm like, oh, yeah. shit, something's going to happen. Then when I realized what was going on, I'm like, okay, yeah. that was kind of shady to start it off like that. But Oh, man, you never yeah. know. So so with that, in regards, I, w- I didn't know the whole season. They only give a script uh, episode right. by episode. So I was, I'm praying every time I get the script, I'm like, let me read through it. I hope, hope Diedrich is still alive. <laughs> So nah. it, was, it was kind of like that every time, uh, that that feeling constantly, which keeps it kind of refreshed for the actors as well. You just never know what's going to happen for your character. Yeah. And it, it, it makes it more real for you. Yeah. But um, I came in just want, wanting to contribute my part to the show. You know, the show is about so much more than just just Diedrich. But I was glad to land a role that had uh, that will have such a big impact on the things to come. And and. Uh, I just wanted to know, I, I knew it was going to be a great opportunity to share the screen with, you know, these stars that are now becoming my peers and, and getting to be in that environment and in that energy, man. Just being that energy alone changes things for me, for my career. Um, as, as you say, you know, depending on which energy you're in, that directs your life as well. And um, just being around that and soaking it up uh, is already uh, 10 times the award that reward that I ever could imagine. And it turned out it wasn't as I expected, but not in a bad way. Right. Like I said, it's just intense. It's every episode is, is crazy. Something's crazy. We had different uh, directors. Stephen K is an amazing director. He he really uh, welcomed me with open arms and gave me some affirmations. Really encouraged me on, on me as an actor and the job yeah. I was doing. Then we had Tasha Smith come in and oh, direct a few episodes. Man. And let I'm me tell you, man, Tasha Smith. You know, I had an idea of her from. Which from her roles that she played, um, but I never met her in person before then. Right. And when I met her, man, this this is she 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 has such a beautiful soul. And absolutely, she's, absolutely, she's a phenomenal human being. And if you ever get to meet her, consider yourself blessed because just to be in her, I'm praying, her space man. I'm, is, I'm praying, man. I'm praying, man. I'm praying. Yeah, man. I hope so. And she she's so nice and so sweet. But she came in and she took the reins. And as a black woman, she was like, I'm coming in. I hear what everybody's saying, but this is how we're going to do it. This is my vision. I yeah. got this. Everyone listen up. We're going to do this and we're going to have fun while we're doing it. And it was, Absolutely. I mean, she made it so much fun like, yeah. and, and, and made us, she, she made a safe space for us to yeah. want to do our best work. If, you know, and, and to try to turn out the, the best product. It was an amazing, amazing uh, experience having her, direct me as an actor yeah i think it's um i think for as much credit as she gets because i think that she is you know highly revered in this industry Mm -hmm. and and even her sister but i just think that like so many people love and appreciate her for what she does but i still Mm -hmm. like on the same token i don't think she really gets the credit that she deserves no 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 he's behind like, uh, like, just in terms of like coaching people, you know, with mm-hmm. their oh, yeah. and stuff. Like, she's behind so mm-hmm. many people's careers, and mm-hmm. it's always cool. Like, I'm always excited when I hear people actually like name call her and and say like I went to her school or I went to, yeah. her, you know, I, I yeah. kind of worked up under her and whatnot. It's really really cool, and I just like to see like us helping us. Yeah, yeah, so, like, yeah. I think it's I think it's you know, cool. Speak on. <laughs> like, it's really really cool. Yeah. Um, and she's definitely, I, I put together like this bucket list mm-hmm. of people that I want to con- connect with. Like I've been doing media and all that stuff for like 20 years. So mm-hmm. I launched Urban Grandstand, which that has grown like in so many different directions. So now I have, yeah. you know, obviously this podcast or this stream that yeah. I'm doing, um, the UG Li- UGD live series, but then I've got a radio show and some other podcasts and then still the magazine and yeah. 
Um, the magazine's oh, been for amazing. 10 years. Well, this is 10 years now. So I'm amazing. like, this year, it's so many people that I want to connect with. And she's yeah. definitely on that list. Like, yeah, yeah. Just, just right. to be able to connect with the people that I like really, really respect in the industry and just yeah. you know, kind of do something different. But it's cool that you mentioned her and just the fact that you worked up under her. So I realized like definitely why you probably got this role and why they kept calling you back because, yeah. you know, to, to keep getting seemingly rejected when you go yeah. to <laughs> audition for these roles, you thinking yeah. like, what did I do wrong? But <laughs> you, you yeah. obviously did something right because right. they keep calling you back. You just wasn't right. for that particular role, but it still was something that they saw within you that said, okay, right. you need this dude for something. Right, so right. I think it's dope. I'm looking forward to seeing episode two. I'm a I'm gonna just skip past one. I, yeah. I, I, I don't watch it twice already. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. I think Tasha directed the next episode, I believe. Okay. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna actually I think I might because I got another stream at five. I think my next hour I'm gonna be I'm gonna be watching episode two and see what I can get from that. Nice, um, nice, nice. What else? Like what what what's I don't want to necessarily say what's next, but like, is there, are there other projects that you're working on right now? Yeah. Yeah. Um, one, I'm, I'm on the show called, um, poker face. With Natasha okay. Lennon. Yeah. I saw that. It just came, came out yesterday. First four episodes. I'm in episode three playing a, okay. a Texas sheriff called Sheriff McDonald with a little twang with a little rail and, uh, um, and it's just, it was an amazing experience working with them as well. That was such a fun show, man. Same riders as Knives Out. If you ever seen Knives Out, you'll get the vibe. And it's just a fun ride. It's a, uh, where she just goes from town to town solving these mysteries uh, while she's on the run herself. Um, definitely check it out. Uh, yeah. One of the funnest sets I've ever been on. Then I have a, a indie film coming up soon uh, that we'll be shooting in the Philippines. I don't know too much information about it yet, but hopefully yeah. I'll come back at a later time and feel by the yeah. end. Yeah. But that's going to be quite the adventure. Looking yeah. forward, to, forward to that. I'm also starting to write and produce my own stuff, man. So... Hopefully you guys will see me, uh, some of my own material start to, you know, end up on some of these networks like Netflix or, or and other platforms in the, in the near future. How difficult is it? How, how difficult is it for you to kind of switch between different roles and, you know, obviously take on, take on different characters, Yeah. Um, you know, with, with, I guess, and being able to kind of leave the last character behind, like how, how was it for you to go from, you know, obviously being this correctional officer to mm. the role in poker in poker face. Yeah, yeah. Um I mean when you when you yeah, when you go from uh, like Diedrich who's uh is a dangerous, dangerous man. Right. And, you know, he's a leader of the bloods, uh, as you can imagine. And to go from that to being a sheriff and talking with Twain, kind of, you know, satire and making fun right. of yourself as a character. Um there's time in between, but there's there's also um, there's a wash process, you know, when you take on these characters and you engulf yourself in these characters, there's a process. And when you, when you get done with these characters, you gotta let them go. But as actors, I think we're trained and, and taught in a way for us to access many different aspects of who we are as human beings. Right. You know, we're not just one sided, you know, we're multifaceted, uh, species and, and have many sides to us of all human beings, whether they're actor or not, you know, you, you have all these emotions in you. And right. different thoughts, and and depend on the peer groups that you're in, and we are affecting. And these characters that you know that we play as actors, they have their their own thoughts and reactions and um, egos. You know, uh, even the character has their egos, and we address it and and as as we go along. So it's not that hard to switch uh, between the characters um, once you know your process. Right now, you you also you also mentioned directing your own projects like yeah. how is, how is that to switch from obviously being in front of the camera to behind mm -hmm. the camera and actually putting the story and the script together and i think i think i have an advantage as an actor to go behind behind the screen and then don't get me wrong someone who studies directing solely definitely that's a craft and a, and a beast within the self and i have all the respect to those who, who focus directly on that but when it comes to directing actors there's there's a different language for actors you know right. and when you have the experience as an actor you can go behind the screen and direct other actors and because you've been in those in that place at the same place as them you know how to uh communicate with them 
on their level and, and help pull out what you need as a director because they will understand um, from the way you direct them because they, they get that experience and they see that you can speak to them and, and right. help them get to a certain place. Right. So um, I love stepping behind the, the screen and, and that's a long-term uh, passion of mine as well. I hope to do. Um, that's, just that was going to be my next question. Like where, where do you want that to go to or how, like how far do you want to take the directional side of it? I think directing is uh has more long longevity opportunities yeah. uh, as far as a career goes but you can act into your old age as well there's never an age to not acting but directing definitely has more of a longevity in my opinion and i definitely plan to do both um i plan to do both as long as i can and as long as it is as, as this world allows me as long as my fans allow me uh, i'm a continue to turn it out because I love creativity. I love yeah. creating stuff. I think as humans, that's what we, we're here for. Uh, one of the reasons we're here for is to create, you know, manifest things, not just in a, a entertainment perspective, but even in your own lives and your careers. And I hope to always be able to create more things for the world to see. I think that's awesome, man. Um, again, the show, I think, you know, so far is, is it is deep. But I think it's really, really good, though. Um, you know, definitely you got to pay attention to it. So I, I, I'm going to hop into this second episode and see how things go. And then I'm going to take it back to season one and actually watch that to try to, you know, really get up on it and see, and see how everything is. But right now it looks really, really good, man. Um, where can people find you like online? Like, is there a website? And then I think I, I'm following your social media already so I can we can uh, put that out there. Yeah, Instagram is probably the best one, Marcus Lorenzo Brandon. Um, I tried to come up with a shorter handle, but Marcus is already taken. I, I thought of different things. I thought about going with Marcus Darling and other things. I, I can't even out. From, I'm like, can you have all these characters? Like, right. I <laughs> <laughs> Exactly. Um, so, uh, but Instagram is the best place to find me. You can check out my website, Marcus-Brandon.com. But Instagram is definitely the best place at the moment to, to reach out to me. That's where I'm probably the most active okay. uh, and most available to see other people's uh, messages if you reach out. Okay. Any type of final words, final comments, or anything that you normally get out with your interviews? Um, yeah. Um, thank you for the support to all my fans. And, and, and I hope you guys continue to join me on this journey. We're just still just getting started. You're going to see a lot of me around this year on your TV, uh, on this not only Mayor of Kingstown, but on uh, Poker Face and Three Women and, and, and theater soon. And I want everyone out there to know that they're loved as well. And I want everybody to know that, you know, go out there. If you have anything that you're thinking about doing, achieving, bucket list, don't wait. The time is now, man. Everybody makes the mistake of thinking you have time, but don't wait. Absolutely. Pit it off. Don't wait for perfection. Do it now. Yeah, I think it's really dope. Um, like I said in the beginning, like I love to be able to connect with people from these shows just to kind of get their take on how it goes. I'm gonna work my hand and try to get with so get with some more people off the show. Yeah, I, I, I might fall off if I might fall out if I get Diane Weiss, but yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna try. Um, yeah, go for it, man. Let I think it's I yeah, I think it's really, really cool. I appreciate you taking the time. I definitely, you know, I'm I'm definitely gonna be following the show, but then I'm also looking forward to the the other projects that you have coming and I'm gonna check out uh poker face too. Yeah, um, man, you know, to get some feel on that. And then we can definitely do this again, man. Whenever you're free or available or you know, willing, uh yeah, we can yeah. definitely with us again and uh you know connect on some more of your material and projects and whatnot but i appreciate it though so yeah, much man. For the time. I, I said uh, he driving i i said i know that new york traffic is crazy so we might not oh. be talking to three but I, I, <laughs> I appreciate it though i appreciate it brother thank you for the opportunity man all, all right you have, all right you have a good one man you too boss see you.